tell everybody why this book is going to be so riveting for so many people. Well, yes, it's a deep dive into sort of a disturbing element. Um, and, and like I said, I'm pretty sure that most people have no idea that this goes on. And I'm from Massachusetts, southeastern Massachusetts. I don't know if you remember this, but years ago, there were bones that turned up, and I think it was in the Freetown area and, and along the stretch of, of that road, and more bones turned up, and then investigations ensued. And then it became known that a lot of these bones were, were women who had disappeared and likely women who perhaps were drug addicts or maybe had dabbled in prostitution. Right. And they so had, this was like the serial killer who was dumping yes. all the prostitutes along the highway. Yes. So then, you know, I watched that, and I also watched the television coverage, because once these women were identified, you know, a lot of people kind of said, oh, geez, well, she was a prostitute. What do you expect, right? But there were families there that loved these women, and they, you know, they were mourning, and they were sad, and there were there were loved ones left behind. So then you kind of plug that in to the plot of, of my book, Throwaway Girls, and it's relatively otherwise normal women enjoying this fetish scene that men are enjoying right along with them, but yet they're specifically targeted just for going there. So it was, so this reporter, uh, you know, this is a highly competitive television market, as you know. Los Angeles is very intense. So she's young, she's strong, um, and, and she's determined. So she wants to figure out what's going on there. Is there a serial killer at work? And she wants to get to the bottom of it, stop him, and then sort of give credence to the lives of these women who have been lost. 